What's up, fellas? Today I'm going to be bending a piece of metal using an oxyhydrogen torch. I'm at about 1800 watts right now. Might not be enough for this tip. And I like using this gas for this particular job because a propane torch just doesn't do it very well. I'll be able to get this bar red hot and bend it. There it goes. Along very nicely. Not putting very much pressure at all on it. Just kind of walking it around. It seems to be stretching the metal. Very peculiar. It's moving very easy at this point. Not quite there. That's the size of the flame. A very wide tip, so let's take a look at the wattage of that. That was a 2000 watt hydrogen flame. Very large flame there, guys. And it won't turn off <laughs> with the flick because it's so huge. So I'm gonna have to use the valve. This is my other method of turning this thing off. I have a stop valve here that you have to turn very quickly. And I'll show you that process in case you did decide to build one of these. For when the torch will not go out. And it gives you a nice little pop there. So I'm not gonna bore you with the comparison with the propane torch. I know that a propane torch just damn near will not do this. So I use this torch for bending metal all the time. Um, we got up to 115 degrees there. Probably ought to leave them pumps on. And, um, if I put a fan on it, I could run it like that indefinitely. Some guys in the past have asked me about using one of these for blowing glass or for glass work. This particular setup would do that for small work, but based on some of the flames that I've seen you guys use, you would probably want a 240 volt system that was comprised of possibly two of these 